Have you ever heard of the flat earth theory? The flat earth theory? Yeah, flat earth. The idea that the earth is flat. Uh, yes. You have. In order to see the true nature of the earth, we have to remove a completely false narrative. Very interesting. Now here's what's happening. What we're seeing here is what it's happening, but it's has to be. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. And you can tell it's just CGI because it looks so fake, honestly. You know, the, the, the colors all look, look kind of weird. And, you know, like everything's too crisp. Well, science is happening. It's best explained as a complete delusion. <laughs> Narrow down the government to one person. It would be like, uh, would you agree? It'd be like our, the government's kind of like John guy, right? Like a gangster. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'd say the earth is round because we're no, making all the time. This was not an actual Gemini mission. Nobody left the ground. Gemini did not abort. We have to be in the air and isolate and launch with shots of the flight controllers simulating that launch. Like many other things in the space age, flight simulation is done by computers. We leave you. Much that is undone. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. A former Nazi. Werner von Braun was an SS officer during World War II, and yet less than two decades later, von Braun was leading a team of NASA scientists, a team of Nazi scientists, a team of NASA scientists. Our space satellite will have the shape of a wheel. This advanced space station will be headquarters for the final ascent to the moon. Good. He gets the message, and who, frankly, who reads this stuff, right? <laughs> Hello, welcome once again to Leto's Law. I'm Steve Leto. I'm here to announce that I'm not a Freemason. I am not a Freemason. Very nice stuff, and apply to you sheep out there. But we know the secret. Stand that you can't admit this because you're an attorney, or you're part of some secret society, or you're a member of this, or a member of that. We're for real between the two of us. We are sensing the same things. Freemason, you're an Illuminati, but you know obviously that's a subset of the Freemasons. Between the two of us, we are sensing the same things. And so I'm going to give you an example. I'm not going to say the man's name, but I did tell him I'm going to read these. The two of us, we are sensing the same things. This guy's on my page. He's he's on my frequency. <laughs> We're for real between the two of us. We are sensing the same things and earn a degree, <laughs> but you being a lawyer, our Freemasonry. Generation <laughs> of minors and AFL-CIO, and I was a member of a union at one point. <laughs> our Freemasons. <laughs> now, I've actually known some Freemasons. <laughs> think I am in. Freemasons, Union, <laughs> club do you think I'm in? Freemasons, Union, <laughs> I discussed this with. Again, appealing to <laughs> Wait, some churches don't like Freemasonry. The guy goes, whew, I better go to Greece and find out. <laughs> well, dude, if he's a Freemason and he renounced that, that's fine. <laughs> Wade through 9,000 pages of disclosures and forms. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> You're sowing discord by saying stupid stuff. <laughs> do not see how saying a bar association is Freemasonic is attack <laughs> that. How's that? Oh, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> not knowing it. If I was a Freemason, I would know it. I'm not a Freemason. I don't know the secret handshake. I don't wear jewelry with symbols on it, okay? I saw a guy yesterday wearing a Freemason symbol on his shirt. I didn't walk up to him and, and, and give him the wink and then do some weird handshake with him, okay? I am not a Freemason. And by the way, I'm not making fun of Freemasons, okay? I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if, if, the, if I said funny handshake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm simply pointing out I am not a Freemason. I've never become one. I've known a few, but I'm not one. Okay? I'm also not left-handed. I'm also not a baseball player. <laughs> and Freemason is one of them. I'm sorry. So I, I, I feel that I've had to confess this. And I... <laughs> it's hard to be awake when the rest of the world is blind. Everything that happens is happening by design. They want to steal your soul and they want to control your mind. Please open up your eyes. We are running out of time. 
Everything that happens is happening by design They wanna steal your soul and they wanna control your mind Please open up your eyes, we are running out of time Who shot J.R. on Dallas? I'll just bet Cliff Barnes did the dirty deed. When the smoke's clear, dear, you'll find that it was Vaughn Leland. Well, people list the ten most likely suspects, and Vaughn sounds very unlikely to me, Sherlock. People asked 11 Texas celebrities who'd done it, and one of them agreed with me. There's even this Who Shot J.R. poll. People's asking everybody to vote. Everybody who follows Dallas should treat themselves. Treat their family. To, to this, this week's people. people. Why do you buy two peoples? So you can vote for Vaughn while I send people the right answer. I get that's how uh, that it works for most comedians, but I don't know. You're very subtle. Subtle? As a compliment, Seth. Subtle is good. Dry humor, like the British. Seth, I promise I'll get it right this time. Okay. NASA announced last week... <laughs> Tom! Sorry. Look, good one. NASA announced last week that it will no longer refer to planets and galaxies by offensive nicknames, so keep an eye out tonight for the Husky Dipper. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Brian Frangie, host of the Unbelievable Podcast, and this is the top five reasons why the Flintstones are the harbingers of the New World Order. In season two, episode 21, Barney Rubble instituted his own form of currency to overtake the current monetary system, fit with bills that featured the Illuminati all-seeing eye. Mel Blanc, the voice of Barney Rubble, was an actual Freemason as a member of Midday Lodge number 188 in Oregon. When people get used to my money, they won't accept any other. <laughs> Fred and Barney were members of the Loyal Order of the Water Buffaloes, a clear homage to Freemasonry. In season four, episode 10, an alien spacecraft abducts Fred and makes 10 Fred Flintstone clones. Fred assumes this was a trick played on him by his Lodge brothers. You have been duplicated in the image of an Earth man for the purpose of taking over the Earth. Fred and Barney communicated with an interdimensional alien named the Great Gazoo, similar to how the Illuminati are controlled by interdimensional reptilians. Zam! Zam? Zam! Everyone and everything in the universe would go in one multi-glorious, instantaneous disintegration. <laughs> According to the Illuminati Ten Commandments as laid out on the Georgia Guidestones, the New World Order wants to keep the Earth's population under 500 million. White, except for one Asian man who teaches karate lessons and everyone is super racist towards. Excuse please, a sounder like a new customer. side where people walk upside down. Oh, but that's silly. Wait a second, are you a flat earther? Okay, so since they faked the moon landing. Inside your new dome home and let the growing begin. Lad, we've got to get all these medieval ideas out of your head. They're the way for new ideas. Okay, Brother Flintstone, we need to strike to win. And you do it. <laughs> Is the earth flat? Columbus did not fall off the edge of the Earth. We all know it's a flat, right? Of course it's flat. Sure, I know the world is flat. Yeah, so do I. Everybody knows that. Good, good. Are you a potato? Hey, sure, it's the world is flat. The number, the world, she's flat. She's flat. She's flat like the pancake. She's flat like your head. You mean the Earth isn't flat? Check this out. A few hundred years ago, the average Joe on the street figured the world was flat. It's as flat as a pancake, which is fine by me. Next, you'll tell me that you're one of those round earthers. You heard, Shaq. The world is flat. Sail off the edge and fly into outer space. Is Poppycock. Where did you hear that ridiculous load of Poppycock? 2021. Joey Shipman. Stop it! Don't you will prove Green Warrior I believe in you, Joey Flat Earth Theory Stands, Captain! It's the edge of the world! Pay up! It's flat Shape of the Earth! <laughs> We've been sailing for months I'm still in all sight of land! Yeah, maybe the Earth is a flat, uh, and we're gonna fall off its edge. The Earth is flat, and you can't tell me otherwise. Boy, I keep telling you, the Earth is round. If it were round, people would be falling off the sides. Ugh, we're not having this conversation again. If the Earth were flat, the oceans would drain. No, they wouldn't, on account of the towering walls of ice. I can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. Ugh. I mean, it's disgusting. You know what they put in the water, don't you? Fluoride. Yeah, fluoride. On the pretext that it strengthens your teeth. That's ridiculous. You know what this stuff does to you? 
it actually weakens your will, takes away the capacity for free and creative thought, and makes you a slave to the state. Have you ever heard of a thing called fluoridation? Fluoridation of water? Uh, yes, I, I have heard of that, Jack, yes. yes. Well, do you know what it is? No. no I, I don't know what it is now. Do you realize that fluoridation is the most monstrously conceived and dangerous communist plot we have ever had to face? Yeah. Water. That's what I'm getting at, water. Ever heard of a thing called fluoridation? Fluoridation of water? Communist subversion and the international communist conspiracy to sap and impurify all of our precious bodily fluids. You look in your Raymaker too. You said I get it's okay. You know the only thing we need is water. Cool. 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 Water. Because Crest has fluoride. The same fluoride dentists put right on teeth to prevent decay. With Crest, you put this fluoride on your teeth at home, too. Prevent cavities. Use Crest. Scientists, dentists, and doctors are taking action to stop fluoridation until it is proven safe. Fluoride was for the eradication of vermin. Since the 1800s, sodium fluoride has been a key ingredient in rat poison and insecticides. These products were commonly used in and around the home to kill lice, mice, rats, and insects disposal of their hazardous waste product. That means that you and I and our children in the United States are the largest consumers of hydrofluosilicic acid. Call it what it is. Hydrofluosilicic acid. What is that? Hydro is water, fluo, fluoride, silicic, sand, and it's missing an electron. It's acidic. It'll kill you. Fluoride proved to be not only a good way to kill rodents, but also an effective way to kill a man. As the use of fluoride became more popular, reports began flooding in of people dying from ingesting this toxic substance. Headlines screamed. Roach poisoned in pancakes kills 11 men. Rancher takes dose of poison by mistake. Ugh. I mean, it's disgusting. You know what they put in the water, don't you? Fluoride. Yeah, fluoride. Uh, well, <laughs> more. Earth is flat. It's a one-man race now. Probably <laughs> on a tiny piece of americium. <laughs> Nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
order out of chaos, but we will. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a great marketer. Um, uh, <laughs> and like, I say the stupidest things. That can't possibly be true. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, even, though, <laughs> even though we're just kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> so I just stabbed you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> which, which is, uh, <laughs> um, Mm, man, mm, it's mm, better than Oval Team. Mm, better than mm, Oval Team. Mm, it's just unbelievable. Oval Team. Mm, it tastes like Oval Team. Mm, it tastes like Oval Team. Mm. Oh, well, what do you call this then? Mom! Dad! It's evil! Don't touch it! That just gets us ready to go, and we want to be healthy, of course, and, and especially when we're going for these six to seven. Unless to, the world you know, is flat. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health scare. Uh, yeah. yeah. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. Come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong. Originality is my weapon 
show them now now it's some creation So easy as I'm moving, see them this them now Creation is a mystery for man Smart as things to say, you should tell them to stand Man was meant to walk this land Yeah, creation is a mystery for man Cries, beautiful skies, catching the flight of butterflies where creation lies by disguise, guys, the fires, honey rise, international wise guys. And it ruined me how they doing our community, they're keeping us divided, cause the real key is unity. See, it's the you and me that truly be moving me. Understand it to learn and know what real freedom could truly be. Liberation, desperation, so even wait and fix for reparation of one united Latin nation. No information and delegation, cause y'all been faking, see our times are wasting, and we've been craving some new creation. A final destination for we to be. A carpenter uses it to just measure me. a horizontal and plane. Hope I hope no <laughs> that is right. The feminist is right. Said that creation is a mystery for man. Every day. And everyone watches that. Hey. Want to listen to some tunes? Imagine a world. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. Well, no, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. My faith in I know I got a lot of catching up to do. Come on, break it down for me. The top one is what? I'm in Polaris. Okay, then the next two? <laughs> Neptune and Uranus. Got it. Then the ones inside the first bubble? <laughs> That's Saturn and Jupiter? <laughs> oh, okay. So then the next one must be? <laughs> okay, cool. Mars and Venus. Then inside that one is? <laughs> That's the sun and moon? <laughs> and then right in the middle is what? <laughs> That's Mercury. <laughs> oh, this is a lot to learn, bro. <laughs> This flat earth stuff's complicated. Stop calling it flat earth. What? Geo what? Equidistant azimuthal geocentric earth model. Wow. I'm not saying all that. Just call it what? Geocentric? Okay. Got it. Geocentric. Azimuthal but Jezev is what? Azimuthal? Azimuthal equidistant. Equidistant azimuthal geocentric earth model. I got it. No, I don't foresee it, but it's to some degree.